Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Basically, we're just taking you along in this week. We, we're taking you along. But last night, I wrote down some like, kind of like goals and intentions for the rest of the year. One of them was to do the splits. So, <laughs> it's so random, it doesn't really have anything to do with anything. I'm just trying to like, set in some disciplinary things. And splits and stretching and stuff is definitely one of them. I have that many spiders on my windowsill. It's terrifying. So I found 30 day journey to splits. I'll leave my Pinterest in um, the description box. I'm obsessed with Pinterest, it's an issue. This pin specifically is saved to life shit, if you wanna find it. I'll show you how I'm going with my splits. So I haven't done the splits since I was like 14. This is such a weird, like, I don't know why I'm showing you this. I just realized when I saw my legs like that, I was like, mm, maybe not. Oh my God, all done. My legs feel like they're about to snap off. Oh, I'm actually feeling really quite good about that. That's exciting. I actually feel like I might be able to do the splits if I do that every day for 30 days. And I will. Oh, look at all the cats in here. So fresh. Okay, I'm wearing this very cute dress from ASOS. Very cute and little and see-through. You can literally see everything. That's okay, because we're just at home today. Um, and I got this new perfume the other day. And I actually haven't worn it yesterday. Yesterday. Haven't worn it yet. Because yesterday I was wearing so late to work that, like, I didn't have time for anything yesterday. Oh, fantastic. This is like my first proper perfume that I've ever bought. I literally use like Beyonce heat for like 7,000 years. And now I'm just gonna go downstairs and edit a video and try and schedule it for tonight. No, I will schedule it for tonight. And then I'm gonna like try and mount my TV, which I don't even know if I'll be successful in because <laughs> I don't actually know how to mount a TV, but we'll get there. Okay, I just finished editing and scheduling the vlog it's such actually it's not that boring i keep saying it's boring it's pretty boring but it's not that boring it took me like three hours so it's like 12 40 now and i'm gonna make some sushi um whenever i have work i just end up eating like subway or something like buying subway or just like skipping lunch um or like even when i'm at home like i just hate making lunch i don't know why <laughs> so i'll either have like chips or like something frozen um and i asked you guys to send me what you guys have for lunch or like just some lunch info and a lot of you just said like meal prepping stuff or like sushi bowls burrito bowls stuff like that and i thought meal prepping would be fun because it's like making dinner and then just eating it myself for the next few days so i'm gonna make some sushi i love making sushi i think it's only probably gonna be good for tomorrow maybe the next day probably not this is the rice that I use. Gorge. I saw this video the other day that was like bagging white people and like how white people make rice. And I didn't know, but like we did it any different. So now I feel like really nervous that like I show people me making rice and they're gonna be like, freaking white bitch. This is all the rice that it made. And like, I'll be surprised if this even goes for one. I'm so sad. I was meant to be freaking meal prepping and I'm lucky if I'll get one. Okay, never ever listen to anything I have to say ever again. Look at this. Is this not the most, most like sad, pathetic thing you've ever seen? I don't know what I did. So tragic. And this is all I made, this is it. One roll and it's not even a roll. It's like whatever that is. I need help. I've made it before, but like it's never happened like this before. Okay, I just filmed a little skincare uh, reels for my Instagram. That's why I've got these little clippies in from Princess Polly. And now I'm going to plan out some content for the week. Or maybe just like roughly plan out my week anyways. This is the thing I use to plan out my content for the week whenever I do it, which is not very often. Because, you know, things change, 
So sometimes I need to rub shit out, like if I get a new shift that day or if I don't get something done here and I need to move it to the next day because this is a little whiteboard for the week. It's so cute, it's from Cotton On. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and brainstorm for a little bit. Okay, so I've done a tiny little overview for the week and then like I kind of just add to it at the end of each day. I'm saying that as if I've ever done it before. I've never done this before, but I'm just trying to like give a broad layout for the week and then like at the end of every day or like in the middle of that day, I'll write like a more specific to-do list. Right. It was Brody's birthday yesterday. He's either deaf or he doesn't like me. Could be both. Um, but I think I'm gonna do the last thing on my to-do list now, which is a fun thing. <laughs> um, it's like make kind of a Christmas itinerary because I'm so excited for Christmas this year and I'm trying to be more like present um, and just have fun with things, I guess. Um, I wanna make like a Christmas bucket list type thing, like a Christmas schedule which makes me sound like I'm a control freak, but I'm really, I just like being organized, okay? Because um, I just really want to get into the Christmas spirit and make sure that I can do as much Christmassy things, as many Christmassy things, sorry, English, as possible. So I'm going to go on Pinterest and skim through some of like my Christmas bucket list pins I have saved. I haven't even been outside like once today and it's such nice weather. So I think once I'm done that, I'm gonna get like a book and just sit out here for a bit. Get some vitamin D. Okay, I've just finished writing up. This is just a rough one. It's too fugly to be the real deal. Huh? I'm gonna redo it properly in like my bullet journal or something so it's nice and sexy. Sex. You said sex. I said sex. Demonetize her. <laughs> I'm gonna paint my nails. Cause they're, oh, you should see my toes. I'm not gonna show you my toes cause that's weird. Oh, people pay for that shit. But they're like this really fugly, like sparkly, like metallic blue. I don't know why I did it. Oh, can I see? Yeah, you know what? You know what's good. Oh yeah, the iridescent. No, the like metallic. I'm gonna try and just It's like pick. a metallic. Oh, we got it for a second. No, it's duochrome. Duochrome. No, I've got two different shades. Oh, oh. Sure. Monday Bevs. It's on the Bevs already. But yeah, I'm gonna paint my nails this brownie color. And then after that, I'm gonna play a bit of Assassin's Creed until mom cooks up the Barbie. Then we're gonna go to the beach after. Look at these gorgeous, ooh, gorgeous steaks mom's cooking up. Is that your nice little vegetarian burger? Yeah. Yes, queen. Flip them steaks. Oh, I didn't yeah. even feel in it. I didn't even burn them. Yeah, they look really good. Thoughts, Emily? What are your thoughts? What's your input? Anything else to add? What are your feelings right that, now? Is that like dog are we eating in or out? Dead in? Yeah. Oh, this looks really like a weird plate of food <laughs> for some reason. Everyone else's looks really nice and <laughs> juicy. Mine, I think it's because I didn't have the green salad, but oh well. All right, bitches, we're on our way to the beach now. We're going. Is that a new pimple popping up? Looks like it's gonna be a nice sunset, so I'm excited. The sun's already set, I think. Yeah. Oh shit, the sun's already set. Okay. Sun colors are so pretty. Oh, it's not picking up properly. It literally is like, wait, that is magic. Magic, oh. Ow, freaking sand in my feet. Charlotte, you look so majestic and beautiful. Oh, I should have brought my bathers. Actually, no, it's freezing. Oh, this is a vision, Charlotte. You look like art, baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> the gorge. Okay, we're back from the beach and I just had to do a bunch of gross things. I had to clean the kitchen up because I was rushed out. Had to clean the cat bowls, had to clean the cat poos. Um, and somehow I managed to shower. How long do you reckon it took me to shower? Like three, minutes. three minutes we're watching James Bond it's we like it. yeah um they're doing like every Monday they put like a different James Bond on and honestly I'm really enjoying it um so it's a little bit of deja vu from my last vlog when we were watching James Bond um but yeah great movies and I'm just gonna finish off this tonight just because it's a James Bond mood don't you reckon Gonna light it up like dynamite. 
I actually got everything on my to-do list done today. How good's that? Everything. Um, okay, so I'm gonna drink this and watch this and... Oh, you took my spot, you bitch! Joel, are you guys catching the bus tomorrow? And I'll talk to you a bit later. Morning. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I did that. So, I'm pretty tired, so... It's like 7.30 now, probably. And I'm just... Eating brekkie. Watching YouTubes and I'll probably go on Pinterest a bit. I love going on Pinterest in the mornings and then like review my to-do list for the day and then I'll go upstairs and Put some makeup on. Okay, so I've straightened my hair. I did some stretches and I also did about 12 sit-ups So I feel pretty good. I'm already checking for abs because like it just felt like a good stretch and now I'm drinking freaking green juice Oh my god, that just dripped in my belly button. This is questionable. I feel like if there wasn't apple in it, I'd be gagging, but like the apple really saves it. Okay, I tried putting makeup on and then I literally had to take it off because I did like my skincare this morning. And I don't know if it was like that and a mix of me being like real sweaty. It was just crumbling. Like when I was spreading my foundation in with my beauty blender, like it was like my skin was coming off. It was like I was exfoliating, like nothing was sticking. It was, oh, it was disgusting. So I took it off and I was like, all right, no makeup today then. Which I'm honestly okay with because whenever I wear a mask when I'm wearing makeup, like my face is real itchy and just like disgusting so whatever bitch um this is the dress i'm wearing today and i'm wearing a little a little thing underneath like a good gal i also got a package let's do my perfume because oh it just smells so good so i got a package um it says it's from urban outfitters but like i didn't order anything from urban outfitters I ordered something from Anthropology, which like little me is dying, like me from like four years, four years, like me in high school when all I watched was like Bethany Moda and like Claudia Saluski and stuff. Because I ordered something from Anthropology, and that was like all the American YouTubers used to talk about back in the day. And little Aussie me was like, I want it, and I finally got something. I didn't even know that they shipped to Australia, so I was very excited. Um, it was kind of expensive, but also not as expensive as I expected it to be. I feel like when you live in Australia, you're really like used to things being overpriced because living here is just like expensive, you know? Like going to cafes and spending $21 on an Eggs Benny, you know, stuff like that. You're just used to things being more than they should be. So, first things first, I got an apron. I love aprons. This is my fourth apron I have. But it's okay because I actually do cook. So it's not like I'm not going to use them, you know. This one's oh, so spring, so summer, so gorge. And it feels great, Qual. Oh, isn't it darling? Lucky I shaved my armpits yesterday. And it's got pockets. Oh my god, yes! Oh, this is cute. It's just a little plate and it's got a bear on it. Oh. So cute. And then this is so cool and I've been seeing them everywhere on Pinterest. Pinterest is just killing it for me at the moment. Like my curated like Instagram ads and stuff that's on my Pinterest feed. It's just so like niche for me. Like it's just so perfectly catered for me which is like should be creepy but it's great. Because I'm like yes I need that. I didn't even know that was a thing. But it's perfect. So this is a berry colander. You just like put berries in there, wash them, shake them out. It's nice and ceramic. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, this is a Christmas mug. But it's like not tacky Christmas mug. So I'm excited. It's a little Santa. But it's nice and it's huge. And it's real good quality. Ooh, can't wait to have some like eggnog. Or like Baileys or something in here. I don't really drink Baileys, but I guess we can try. And that's everything. And I'm going to charge my camera now. Finish my juice and edit a video, I guess, before I go to work. Hello, I'm back from work. Oh, hi, Raya. Oh, hi, Mark. Work actually dragged a little bit. It was kind of pits. 
but I'm home now and I just changed into this dress because it's Maddie's birthday today. I don't know if I told you. I feel like this dress doesn't really suit me because it kind of comes off. But this, hey Emily, Hi. give us a twirl. My hair is fogly because... It does look a bit messy. Yeah, and I can't be bothered. Whatever, mate. This is literally my hair, my work hair. I, I, I do it before I get out of the shower. And that is it. At 6.30 in the morning? Yep. Nice. Anyways. So this has been my hair for 12 straight hours. Um, we've got our, f our cousins. Can make no, I can't be bothered, it's too hot. Yeah. We've got a few of our cousins from one family. It's also like 31 degrees today, so I just can't be bothered putting makeup on. So this is what we're rocking. This is the grazing table man made. Honestly, I'm surprised. Feeling good about your work, mate? Looks pretty beautiful. Cheeky. Guys, Emily's doing something really, really special for us today. Once in a lifetime opportunity. She's gonna, yeah, she's gonna eat a blueberry. Just kidding. Emily never has fruit. She's gonna do a Jägermeister shot and chase it with a Furfies beer. This is in Emily fashion. It's the work tomorrow too, right? Hello. Yeah, you missed me. And the blueberry. Vomit. She'll probably she'll probably gag from the blueberry and not the alcohol. Oh, Annie, can you please do a little robot dance? There's it. I'll, I'll go for it. Wait, this is the best part. Robot. Do you like? Um, I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Chloe and I are going to do these shots that Emily wore. We're all going to do them. Okay. Thank you so much. So much. So much. My flavor is caramel. Salted caramel. That one left. I'm having a long day tomorrow. I'm nervous. This is going to make me cheeky. I know, I'm sort of scared. Oh, you break it. I got nothing. Oh, 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 oh,
and that's my dream car. So I'm trying to like manifest a Corvette into my life, which won't happen for a good, good, good while. We're on the way to pick Annie and Child up from school. We're eating some sausage rolls and party pies in the car, which is kind of pits. But yeah, and I think we're gonna go Christmas decorating, Christmas decoration shopping tonight. So I'm really excited because we're putting up our Christmas tree on Sunday. Um, but, oh yeah, that reminds me, I have a question to ask you guys. I look like actually a piece of dick in this house. <laughs> um, a piece of dick, yes, I am going to put that in. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on me doing Vlogmas this year? Because I don't know if I should. I want to, honestly. But I was thinking maybe, like, if one day I have work all day and it's, like, not enough for a vlog, then I just combine it with the vlog from the day before. Or if I want to upload a different video on that day, then I will just either skip that day or, like, combine that day with another vlog of a day, if that makes sense. What are you guys' thoughts on Vlogmas? Hmm? Let me know, because, honestly, I'm really in the mood for Christmas this year, so I want to do something. We're putting the Christmas tree up on Sunday, but I'm gonna film it and then put it in my first vlogmas. Oh, all right, bye. So back in the car, there's a bit of a here and there day. I think the only time I vlog today is been in the car. We're going to the shopping center now to get some Chrissy stuff, and I'm very excited. And he said Christmas vibes. Christmas. Say Christmas vibes and do a jig. It doesn't feel like Christmas. It's so all. effing boring. Oh my god. So cute. We come back here every year. There's like a clip of this. Oh, someone just broke something. Tragic. Oh, that's really cute. Do a little jig for us. Did you hear someone break something? Yeah. Amma. <laughs> Oh, this looks like Raya Charlotte. Oh, it's literally Raya. It actually is Raya. Try. Ew! Okay, we're finally home. I made... Oh, wow. This is a good look for me. Um, I made a bit of an investment. I will show you. Hi, babe. Hello. These are the ones that mum ended up getting. Gorge Town. We're gonna put the Christmas tree there this year, which is different, unusual. She also got a new Christmas tree, a frosted tipped one, which she's always wanted, apparently. Isn't that so it's deaf? 6.9 feet, Jesse. Six. <gasps> That's freaking huge. I have to make dinner because Charlotte's off to Mackey's. Charlotte's off to flip the burgers. <laughs> Wearing my new apron. Very sexy, very cute. Okay, welcome to my pizza cooking show. So, we actually all get a pizza each because only four of us are eating. And mum made some of her homemade pizza dough, which is just so lovely and kind. Thank you, Deb. It's a good angle of that one, isn't it? So, we'll make this one mine because we've got a great angle of that. And then I put on a lot of salami because I have a little bit of an obsession with salami. It's actually a bit of an issue. It's getting really bad. And then a little bit of ham because I don't really like ham that much. I'm going to put on some of this truffle oil that I got from David Jones. It's not truffle oil, it's um, truffle salt, which is very interesting. All right, in they go. See you later, sexy bitch. Okay, while we wait for the pizza to cook... I am going to give you a little haul of what I got. First thing I got is this tree. This is my first Christmas tree I've ever really bought. I've bought like a little shitty one that was like 30 centimeters from Typo and Kmart and stuff all the other years. But this is a 120 centimeter tree from Maya because they had like a deal that if you bought two or more of anything else Christmas related, then you got 20% off trees. I'll be moving out either next year or the year after anyway. So might as well get it now. And I'm so excited. It's a real good quality tree. 
I don't know where I'm going to put it yet though. I think maybe there or there. I don't know. So first and foremost, I got this. I don't actually have a Santa hat. So I felt like it was kind of important to get one. I usually get one like every year, but it's always a shitty quality. Oh, there's a cat in here, Scotty. Um, and I also got this cute little headband. We're gonna do like an early Christmas dinner party thing with just my cousins from my mum's sister's side, which are the people we had over for Maddie's dinner the other night with their boyfriends and stuff as well, just because we don't really get to hang out a lot on Christmas day because there's so many families and so little day. So we're gonna do something early with just us and like we're gonna wear Christmas PJs and drink eggnog and it's gonna be fun. And then I got a few decorations and such. These are like my first proper decorations. I got this little like box of decorations. They're just little gold stars. They're really cute. And they've got these things for which I will have to tie on. And then I just got these other three baubles. I got this cute one. And then this little star, which goes with the vibe. Goes with the vibe of the room. And then this, which is really cute. Because I thought like when I'm living in America when I'm older or when I'm living in... Austria for a few months sometime <laughs> oh, I don't know where this life will take me but this will be cute to put on my tree wherever I am New York hopefully well that just took up a fat chunk of time so the pizza should be ready in like five minutes which is good um I'm probably just gonna finish up reading this Christmas like cook it's not a cookbook it's one of those like cook magazines um that you get at like the grocery store I'm gonna finish reading this. It's actually got some really good recipes. Sometimes I'm like, nah, Pinterest is better. Like, why spend money on it? But that one's actually got some pretty good recipes. I also want to show you this freaking TV mount. I haven't mounted my TV on, my beautiful TV. Um, because we don't have any, we don't have any, like, it's been, so, it's been a moment. Whoever put this wall mount in, I think it was my dad, but like, come on, dad. It's just like too tight, so I can't put it on this um, stud bar. So I've had to move it over 60 centimeters, which is where the next stud bar should be. Yeah, and so I've put it in this one. So it's super low because I need to make sure that it doesn't hit this when I like pull it out. So that's already looking a bit odd. And then these screws just will not go in for the life of them. Like it's. But yeah. Okay, pizza's done. This is mine. I put this like garlic sauce on just one of them because I feel like it's going to be disgusting, but I just want to try it. Okay, it's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. How's yours, Annie? Good taste. Good. Little fatty Scott. Look at this bruise, guys. I have no idea where all of these bruises are coming from, but oh, every morning I wake up. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from. Hello. I'm gonna end this vlog now because it's been three days and I realize you're just so in love with me. You're just there yeah, staring at me. You will be happy to know if I get my fat noggin out of the way. I mounted my TV today. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna end this now. Bye. Don't miss me too much. Okay, bye.